El Cuento de Mi Papa. Exterior, Kevin's house. Night. Alex and Sean walk out to his tricked-out racing Subaru. Nice ride. You okay to drive? Yeah, totally. I just had a couple of Cokes in that one shot. Cool. Hey, thanks for the ride. Yeah, no problem. All good. They enter the Subaru. Interior, Sean's car. Night. It's dark on the streets of southern Texas. There's an awkward silence. Hey, you should come out with us on Sunday. We may need a fourth. Play golf? Me? No. <laughs> Just tennis. You play... Watch out! Abruptly, Sean slams on the brakes. A migrant family unknowingly crosses the road in front of the car, the headlights illuminating them in the Texas night. Alex makes eye contact with them. Shit! Fuck me! You okay? I mean, think before you cross. Ooh. Alex is silent. Sean puts it back in gear and drives on. Interior, Sean's car, night, later. Wish the city would do something. The streets are pitch black. Take this exit. Sean turns off and goes underneath an overpass. New place? Yeah, just, uh, just moved in three months ago with my mom and Maria. Right, your daughter, how... Sean looks up to the rear view and sees lights come up in the rear view. Oh, fuck me. No, no, no. What? Shit. It's a local sheriff's car. They're being pulled over. Exterior, car, night, continuous. The police loudspeaker comes on. Shut off the engine. The cop car blares his high beams, filling the entire car in a wash of bright light. Sean shuts off the car. Both guys take out their IDs. The cops exit their vehicle and approach. They turn on their flashlights and have one hand on their holster as they approach the vehicle. Evening. License and registration, please. They shine the flashlights into their faces, blinding them. Deputy 2 takes a good look at Alex. They take both IDs and head back to their squad car. Sean and Alex sit, waiting for the deputies. You okay? Sean looks fidgety, almost anxious. Uh, yeah. Alex just looks at him. The deputies walk back to the car. Do you know why I stopped you? Uh, no, officer. Your left tail light is out. Oh, I I'm sorry, officer. Have either of you been drinking tonight? Uh, no, officer. No, sir. Deputy 2 looks over at Deputy 1. Mr. Pesturo, is this your only form of identification? Yes, sir. Deputy 2 nods over to Deputy 1. Could you both please exit the vehicle? What for? Hey, just listen and obey the officer. Alex and Sean exit and are escorted to the trunk where the Deputy 1 detains them while Deputy 2 searches the vehicle. Are there any drugs, needles, weapons, or anything else in the vehicle you'd like to let me know about? No, officer. Nope. You sure? Well, don't be stupid now. Deputy One shines his light into the vehicle, then pans the light back to Sean and Alex. They are silent. Okay. Suit yourself. Deputy Two does a search of the vehicle, flashing his light in the center console, in between seats, the glove box as thorough as possible. Deputy Two reaches deep below the passenger seat. He feels something. He pulls a little patch out, opens it. Inside is a little bit of marijuana, a lighter, a glass bowl for smoking pot, and in another compartment, a little Ziploc bag with about five grams of a white powder, along with some blue and white capsules. <laughs> 